Hey everyone. So I have a 12 by 16 uh, gallery wrap canvas and I'm going to do a four cup flip cup and I'm going to be using copper, a couple of shades of coral, um, mauve, cranacridone rose and some cranacridone rose with white, white and van dyke brown. Um, I really want to play with coral this week for some reason, but maybe I can get this one to work out pretty good and um, have some copper actually show up in there. That'll be pretty. So I'm going to spray my cups with WD-40 oops, silicone spray away from the canvas. You don't want to spray over your canvas because the silicone will repel the paint and you'll end up with blank spots in your canvas. But most of you probably already know that. <laughs> I didn't even put my gloves on, so I'm going to do that right now. Okay, so I'm going to move my canvas just a little bit out of the way here. And we'll get going on the cups. So I always start with white or black. Once in a while I'll start with a color, but not too often. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with the Van Dyke Brown a couple of times in here because I do want it to show up. It's going to be my highlight color along with the uh, mauve. So I'm going to go ahead and start with these coral colors. And I want these cups pretty full. And I'm going to make a mess when I flip them. <laughs> okay. So after that I'm going to go ahead and use the mauve. We're going to follow that with the copper. And then I'm going to do, uh, I think, the darker cranacodone. to use just enough paint and I wanted to use up some out of my bin and of course they're all blues and yellows and greens <laughs> nothing that I really wanted to use tonight I'm going to add a little more white I'm going to hit the brown again Now I'll add the coral. the light. Uh, I mixed this with um, white. I don't have a lot. I just wanted just a hint of light pink in there. Somewhere in there. Maybe we'll see it. Maybe we won't. brown. And a little more of the mauve. I 
I've got some new paints today, so I'm making room so I can mix up some new colors, but not enough room. <laughs> okay, a little more copper. And we'll finish off with the lighter coral color. shot of white down through and I'm going to shove it down through. All right. So that's there. Time to get messy. <laughs> tonight. I'm sorry. I'm not very talkative. Oh. Okay, let's start flipping. is pretty. Looks almost gold. This is really pretty right there. Just enough paint, I think, to cover. All right, let's start tilting. I'll move it around just a little bit. This is really pretty here. So I don't care if I use lose that orange or that coral there because I don't want to lose that other corner. Careful up there. It's really pretty. And I didn't torch it after I flipped because I didn't want these cells to get too big. I wanted it to be more earthy, earthy looking. Okay, I think I have all my corners covered. Whoops. Okay. I'm going to stretch that down just a little bit without losing that. That's pretty too. Okay, so let me wipe my hands and we can torch.
All right. I always like to pop my air bubbles first. And then I can go back and work on a specific area. Oh, my finger wasn't working there for a minute. Seeing too much come up. Very little. My torch is running low. So let's let that set a second. I'm gonna fill my torch up setting. <coughs> Pollen's killing me. Tree pollen. Yeah, she was empty. She was running real low. There we go. That's better. That white here just kind of grayed out on me. I probably shouldn't have put it in the middle. There's some cells coming up through it though. That's it. I was hoping that brown would come up through there, but it's not going to. It may as it dries, but uh, it's not moving right now. Oh, let's see. That white dot's kind of a pooper. Hmm. Wonder if I can get rid of it. Goodbye. <laughs> I have one here too, but I'm going to leave that one alone. Because there's just too many little white ones around it. So, yep. That looks good. Love the colors. Um, we could have used a little more of that mauve in there. Um, it didn't show up too much, but it surrounded these cells here, which I absolutely love. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click below and click on the bell next to the subscribe button. You'll be notified when I upload my next video. Click like and share and leave a comment. Join me on Facebook at Christina Welch Art and you'll get to see dried paintings there and a little more activity than usual. And um, check out my Etsy shop. Links are below in the description box. I also have an Amazon shop um, where all the tools that I use are listed there and um, if you need me to find something let me know and I can add it to the shop but when you buy from my shop I do um, get a small percentage of the sales helps me buy my um, supplies for future videos so I really appreciate everybody that's been helping me out and um, I think that we're gonna call this one done the copper turned kind of gold here. It's absolutely beautiful. So now I'm going to lift it so you can possibly see that. It's nighttime, so I don't get very good light at night. But you can see that copper right there in the middle. But uh, I'm happy with that. It's pretty. Very pretty. 
So have a great night, guys, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.